Hey guys, Miriam here at The Skin Deep. We've been getting a lot of questions regarding participating in the end experience. The good news is that you don't need to come in our studio to do it. We have a card game experience that you can play at home with your loved one. So to learn more about it, you can visit her website, theskindeep.com shop, and the link is also in the description. Thank you very much. Describe your first impression of me. Um, when I really saw you for the first time, I thought, this guy's really handsome. I talked to Felix first, and I said, I would like to talk to you, and that I would like him to introduce me to you, and then he did, and I told you that I heard a lot about you, which wasn't necessarily true, because <laughs> I hadn't heard that much about you, but mm -hmm. I really want to start a conversation. <laughs> and, start somewhere. And you know, yeah, you know where that went. So did you also plan this in advance? No, no, no. <laughs> this was, <laughs> I know I plan a lot of things in advance, I didn't plan this in okay. advance. <laughs> Fair. This, this was purely natural. <laughs> when do you feel closest to me? I think I'll feel, feel closest to you when we have nice long talks about, about us, basically, about us, about us mainly, and uh, yeah, when we really feel like we learn something from each other every time we, we have that, that, that makes me feel the most, the closest to you. Okay. Do we have enough sex? I don't think I'm ever happy with any amount of sex, but that's mostly because we can't be together every day all the time. <laughs> but for the time we spend together, I think we have more than enough sex, yeah. Do you agree? Yeah, I think so. I think yeah, we have a good same thing. Of sex. <laughs> yeah. What's a question you always wanted to ask me? Mm. What is for you the hardest part of our relationship uh, with the three of us, with Felix also? My um, time. Yeah, there's there's nothing physical or emotional or that that doesn't feel right to me. But sometimes I feel horrible for having to schedule mm. so much and not do anything spontaneous because we have to split up our time and we also have our jobs and our studies and other social activities because all three of us are really social and have a lot of friends and we want to see those people too and then that for you for you and for Felix you just have your girlfriend mm -hmm. and then I've got the both of you and I need to squeeze in all that time and I have to make time for myself as well and that's that's the hardest part by far do you feel that's a trade-off you're making by having uh, two relationships sometimes at the same time? Sometimes it does. Yeah. Sometimes it does feel like spending time with you means less time with Felix and spending time with Felix means less time with you. And then there's the nights that you say, oh, I want some time for myself. And then I'm like, oh, good, I can go see Felix. And then that's <laughs> fine and there's no problem at all. So this is a rather practical constraint, of yeah. course. So <laughs> if you would have to name the hardest emotional uh, for if I would have yeah. to, if I had to. Yeah, if, if if not it, a practical concern. Um, practical difficulty, but um, what's but the purely emotional. emotional. Yeah. I don't think it's anything internal to our relationship. I think it's mostly people outside our relationship who don't understand or who see everything wrong. You know, it's not normative. So even when their reaction is really positive, sometimes that can be assaulting too. Or yeah, if, I don't want everyone to high five me and I don't want everyone to come up to me and ask me questions. Fair. And I know, and I, I'm, I don't mind being the poster child for polyamorous relationships, but so, some days you just want people to accept it and not worry about it so much or think that it's um, 
it's a, f a free card to get in yeah. on our personal <laughs> matters, like people asking, oh, how's that going to be when you're older and you're going to have children? You don't ask that to two people who are in the relationship, yeah. just so why ask us with the three of us? Because that's really personal. Yeah, I think for, that, 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 like like last example about, about children, I think, yeah, yeah because it's, it's different people who are, I don't know why, but they're easier to ask these, these kinds of questions because, yeah. of course, it's more interesting than... <laughs> <laughs> so much more interesting. <laughs> than, than a standard relationship. Yeah, because yeah. There's, yeah. What's the greatest lesson I taught you? I think the, the greatest uh, for me, or at least what, what meant most for me, is that you really convinced me it's okay to be open, really share all, every feeling that, that I have with you or with people in general. Yeah, I think that, that insight really helped me, me grow personally. Towards yeah. yourself, yeah. yeah. Mm. <laughs> I'm happy you can be you. Me too. Because of me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can help me be a better me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what quality do Felix and I have that enables us to share you? I don't think you share yeah. me. I don't, no, yeah, no, definitely not. I think we've got to fully grown relationships which both are still growing but and I think they're both a hundred percent which mm -hmm. means I have to have two hundred percent and I think I can do that and I think that I think everyone could do it with enough talking so if there would be one quality that you both have to have to do this it would be oh. communication skills the days that we don't talk much or where, when we're not really in the mood for sharing, we still share more than 99% of people, <laughs> I think. And I think that's something special that we, all three of us have, which makes this work. Why are you with me? Mm, I just have to find the words. Um, in any language. In any language. <laughs> in any language. <laughs> in any language. <laughs> Yeah, and I think we make a very good, good couple. I think we can really complement each other in a lot of things, and uh, yeah, we both see a lot of things from a different, different perspective. I think you tend to see a lot of things more emotionally, where I tend to see them a lot more practically, and I think we can complement each other there and, and learn from each other. But yeah, above all, because I love you. Oh, stop. <laughs> Yeah. We do make a good pair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, if you want to have this kind of deep conversation and you enjoyed this video, you can bring the end experience home with this card game. To learn more about it, you can visit her website, theskindeep.com slash shop. And you can also click on this little tile, this little, this, little, this little card right here. Thank you.